On August 24, 2017, a mysterious letter called Epistle 3 appeared on the website created by the original writer of the Half-Life universe. This post is a brief plot that could have become the third episode of Half-Life. It begins with the funeral of Eli Vance and continues with Gordon and Alex's journey to the Arctic where they seek to find the mysterious ship called Borealis. It was originally created by Aperture Science and has the ability to travel through time and space, an opportunity that can be both a weapon and a salvation. Despite the fact that this story is considered a fan fiction, the publication of which Mark Laidlaw will regret for many years, it still pleased the community. This was the first almost official content in the beloved universe in many years. In Inspired by this event, enthusiasts decided to hold a game jam, the purpose of which is to create a game based on this plot. 27 teams took part in the competition and the vast majority of projects turned out to be complete trash made for fun. However, some of them are almost full-fledged games with a unique style and gameplay mechanics. The winner was Expo Decay, a funny mix of the Half-Life universe with the gameplay mechanics of Hotline Miami and LEGO Star Wars. It features all the key characters Alex, Breen, Grub, Mossman, G-Man with Vortigans and classic enemies in the form of Combines, Headcrabs and Zombies. However, suddenly, for everyone shortly after the competition, a new team was formed which announced that it plans to make a full-scale project instead of a short minigame. Veterans of the gaming industry began to join the development and in a very short time the team grew to more than 80 people. As time went on, the developers regularly released dev blogs in which they talked and showed new gameplay and technologies such as progressive physics, wind and air resistance system, beautiful visual effects, soundtracks, destructibility of objects and buildings, blockouts of the first snow locations and much, much more. However, four years ago, silence fell. Many began to think that the project suffered the fate of the third episode. But a month ago, mysterious messages suddenly began to appear on the project website. Players very quickly realized that these were hints of an ARG that needed to be solved. This became a ray of hope and ignited a flame in the eyes of the community. Go exchange skins on Skins Monkey. Use code Gaben and get up to a $5 bonus. Select a few of your current skins, pick a new one in the same price range and exchange your old and ugly CSGO items to something new and shiny from Counter-Strike 2. Use code Gaben and buy skins much cheaper with a 30 plus 5% top-up bonus. Skins Monkey links and my code down below. As far as I know, the solution to ARG has not yet been found, but in the meantime, the developers got back online with a very unexpected announcement. Today, the first gameplay demo of the project will be released on Steam, which will show what the developers have been doing lately. As it turns out later, a very important part was the game port from Unreal Engine 4 to the fifth version. I managed to get access for the press, and now I will tell you everything you need to know. Going to the main menu, we will see an extremely accurately recreated interface of Source games. Here you can customize the graphics control, difficulty and finally choose the level to start the game. The first thing we see when we leave the house is the new snow deformation technology, somewhat similar to Red Dead Redemption. The snow compresses both from the player's and enemy's movement and when interacting with physical objects. Also, I would like to note how well the developers recreated the character controller from the Source engine. The game doesn't feel like something made on Unreal Engine. When playing the demo, you will see both many familiar mechanics and several new ones, including extremely interesting shaders and hairy headcrabs. Together with the playable demo, the developers will publish the first in a long time dev blog in which they will tell in more detail about what happened behind the scenes of the project. The most important thing is that the developers have finally begun full production, formed a workflow within the new Icebreaker Industries team and are finally ready to share new info. This technical demo is just a visual demonstration and in the future developers plan to share new dev maps on which you can fully test new mechanics. To be honest, this demo is extremely demanding on your PC and not everyone will be able to play at maximum graphics. Since the embargo expires right now, I decided to include my playthrough without comments and with a demonstration of all the most interesting stuff at maximum quality.
Gordon? 